Hello dear students, in this lecture we will discuss mechanism of sex determination in plants. In part 1 lecture of this series we have discussed dosage compensation and lion's hypothesis. In part 2 we have discussed mechanism of sex determination in drosophila and here we will focus on mechanism of sex determination in plants. So as we have discussed in the first lecture, chromosome theory of sex determination and according to this theory, male and female individuals differ in their chromosome constitution and there may be two types of chromosomes present in such individuals, autosomes and sex determination chromosomes so uh, the sex chromosomes may be homomorphic where both the sex chromosomes are of same type like we have discussed in first lecture they can be xx as in humans or zz as in insects butterflies or the sex chromosomes can be heteromorphic like xy in males or zw uh, in birds, butterflies and moths. Now in plants, uh, there are many kinds of flowers and based on that they are named as different types. For example, a perfect flower is also called hermaphrodite flower where the male and female uh, androsium and gynosium is present in the same flower. Then monoecious plants are those plants where the male and female flowers are present on the same plant. Dioecious plants are those plants where the male and female flowers are present on different plant. Andromonoecious are those plants where the hermaphrodite flowers having both gynosium and androsium as well as male flowers in the same plant. Gynomonoecious plants are those plants where the hermaphrodite flowers and female flowers are on the same plant. Trimonoecious plants are those plants where the hermaphrodite male and female flowers are on the same plant. Androdioecious are those plants where the perfect and male flowers are on separate plants and gynodioecious are those plants where the perfect or hermaphrodite flowers and female flowers are on separate plants. So these are the different kinds of flowers uh, when they are found on plants so these plants are named. Uh, or these flowers are named or classified by these categories. Now in plants, the chromosome, sex chromosomes were first of all discovered in Spherocarpus. And Spherocarpus is a bryophyte with 2n is equal to 16. Chromosome number, it means that somatic number is 16. And in this 16 chromosomes, there are seven pairs of autosomes and two sex chromosomes. So when these two sex chromosomes are X and X, the plant is female. And when the sex chromosomes are uh, X and Y, the plant is male. So here in Spherocarpus, the sex determination is similar to humans. In gymnosperms and pteridophytes, they do not have any sex chromosomes and there are a lot of examples in angiosperms where we find sex chromosomes like Elodia, Capcoxenia and Melandrium. So, uh, in plants where the sex chromosomes are found and Examples of such plants are Melendrium album, Coccinia indica and Cannabis sativa. In these plants, the male is heterogametic with 
uh, X and Y chromosomes and female is homomorphic with X and X chromosomes. So in Melendrium, Elvum, Coccinia indica and Canaphis sativa, the sex determination is similar to humans. Now in Valisneria and Dioceria, the male is heterogametic but here the one of the X chromosomes is missing. So in this heterogametic male, the chromosomes are uh, males are designated as XO and females are XX. Now, in some plants like Fragaria species, female is heterogametic and they have XY chromosomes and male is homomorphic with two X chromosomes. In some plants like Humulus, Japonicus and Rheumax, the chromosome constitution is XYN where it means that there will be one X chromosome and more than Y chromosome then these plants will be designated as male. So male has more than two Y chromosomes but females have X and uh, the females have two X chromosomes. The fifth classification is X and Y and this is found in a triplex hymelantra where there will be two more than two X chromosomes and if there are more than two X chromosomes it will be female and if uh, there is X one only X chromosome it will be male. So the females will have more than X, two X chromosomes like triple X will be female and XY will be male. And the last sixth is X and YN where you find that when the uh, male has more Y and female has more X. So for, for example, the first type where there are autosomes plus 3x so it will be female and autosomes for, with 3y will be male. In Malendrium and Coccinia where the chromosome constitution uh, where the sex chromosomes are like humans irrespective of the number of x chromosomes the males are generated with the presence of a single Y chromosome. So it means that irrespective of the X chromosome, say a plant has one X chromosome, two X chromosome, three X chromosome, four X chromosome, the presence of a single Y chromosome will make it male. So let us discuss sex determination in Coccinia and Melendrium. So although a number of dioecious plant species have been examined for the presence of sex chromosomes but a detailed study was undertaken only in Coccinia and Melendrium and the mechanism of sex determination in Coccinia indica which is a member of family Cucurbitaceae was studied in detail by late Professor R. P. Roy and his co-workers at Patna University. They studied sex in diploid, triploid and tetraploid plants with and without Y chromosomes and observed that irrespective of the number of X chromosomes and autosomes, the presence of a single Y chromosome gave a male individual. So same is the case in Malendrium. In Malendrium, X and Y chromosomes are heteromorphic and Y chromosome is longer than X. So please refer to P.K. Gupta to uh, read this in more detail. Uh, mechanism of sex determination in Malendrium and Coccinia is different from Drosophila. 
बिकॉज मेलनेस इज डिटर्मेंट बाय ऑटोजोम्स इन ड्रोसोफिला दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर वेयर वी डिस्कस्ड ड्रोसोफिला बट हियर इन मलेंड्रियम एंड कॉक्सीनिया ऑटोजोम्स डो नॉट हैव एनी रोल टू प्ले द प्रजेंस ऑफ अ सिंगल वाई क्रोमोजोम डिटर्मिन्स सेक्स let us see how the sex chromosomes are uh, they are in melandrium so in melandrium x and y chromosomes are heteromorphic y chromosome is longer than x so if you see what are the regions which are present in uh, these x and y chromosomes so as we have just discussed that x chromosome is shorter and y chromosome is longer so as you can see here in x chromosomes we find two regions fourth region and fifth region so fifth region promotes femaleness in y you find four regions so first region which is written in romans it is for it is uh, this region has genes which um, suppresses femaleness so the first region is responsible for suppressing femaleness the second region here is responsible for anther de development third region is responsible for later stages of anther development and fourth region is for pairing and regular disjunction of x and y during uh, meiosis so you see that fourth region is common in both x and y chromosome and the first second third region is responsible for maleness in y chromosome while fifth region is for promoting femaleness in x chromosome so if you see y has uh, four regions and x has four and five regions so this is uh, the detailed structure of melendrium and uh, sex chromosomes of melendrium and please refer pk gupta for more understanding of this topic so thank you students this was a short topic and uh, um, uh, the you can please refer to good books to un uh, to have a detailed information on, on this and this presentation i have made from pk gupta so please read from pk gupta thank you